the compound is 10.4% carbon, 27.8% sulfur. The question is, what is the empirical formula? Since we know the percent is out of 100, we can just change the percent sign to grams. To find out the grams of chlorine, we would have to subtract 38.2 from 100 to get 61.8. Percent for chlorine. Carbon would be divided by 12.011 to get 0.866. Sulfur would be divided by 32.06, which gives us 0.867. And chlorine would be divided by 35.45 to get 1.743. Since carbon has the smallest, we use this to divide all of them. So carbon, we would get 1, sulfur, we would get 1.00, and for chlorine, we would get 2.01. This would give us the empirical formula of CSCl2. Okay guys, let's do this problem. If a compound with molar mass, 84 grams per mole, has the empirical formula CH2, how many atoms are in one molecule of this compound? Now, what do we know? We know that there's 84 grams per mole in this compound. And we know the empirical formula. So, CH2 has one carbon plus two hydrogen. Now we need to know the molecular weight. Okay, so carbon's molecular weight is 12 grams. Okay, and hydrogen's is 1 gram. So 1 carbon plus 2 hydrogen is equal to 14. 12 grams plus 2 grams equals 14 grams. Next, we know that the molar mass is 84 grams per mole. So we divide that by that to get the moles. Okay, so it's 84 grams per mole divided by 14 grams. Now these grams and grams are going to cancel out to get the moles. And we get 6 moles. But what does this question want? It wants us to find out how many atoms are in one molecule of this compound. We're not there yet. Now, we have to find the molecular formula by multiplying this 6 to this CH2. So it's 6 times CH2, which is C6H12. Now we know that there's 6 carbons and 12 hydrogens. Hydrogen atoms, carbon atoms. So simply, you add 6 plus 12. 6 atoms plus 6 atoms equals 18 atoms in this one molecule. And that is your answer.